So, in this, like I was saying, in this little um, sleeve thing, I have some brown craft tags. And, you know, they're falling out of this and everything, so they are just not working in this little sleeve thing. So we're going to set that aside. All right, next thing, let's put these in their own little pile. Next thing I have are these um, popsicle tags right here. Can you see those? We're going to put them right there because these are paper tags. Here's some more paper tags. Look like little handbags. How cute are those? Uh, let's see, a dangly charm right here. So we'll put that in its own pile. Some of the unicorn puffies. Uh, here's another, em that's a little emoji puffy. Uh, these are like little envelope type things. They can go in their own. This is a whole set that I got at Target. It was on clearance for $3, I think. It's got tags, it's got washi tape, it's got um, the string for the tags. I think we're going to leave this in its own little container. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Got some miscellaneous tags, another little charm, charm, little envelopes and tags. Ooh, what's this? I even forgot what's in here. Well, that's pretty cool. And it's a nice sturdy envelope. Hmm. These are cute. I, wonder, I can't remember where I got these from. Oh, well. They go right there. More of the little paper tags. Here are some more. I got these at Michael's for $1.25. Here is another unicorn. Ooh, look. Here's a puff ball with the unicorn on it. Here's a whole bag of little mini puff balls. Here is a tassel one. Here's a little owl. Oops, you got tangled. Here's another puff ball one. Here is a deer one. Oh, here's the heart. Some more of the little envelope type ones. More of those. This came in a set, this ribbon. I gotta see if I got the rest of the set. Oh, here we go. I got this, I believe, from... Um, Oh, what's it called? Holler. Holler.com. So, that's the set I have. Okay, some teacup ones. More of the tassels. More of the tassels. Some more paper tags. Yeah, we've just got all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, here's another puff ball. More paper tags, tassels, the heart, one of the charm ones. Uh, here are some embellishment things that uh, Pat Crispel sent me. Another deer. As soon as I get this emptied, I've got to pause you guys and let my dog out. Here are some owl. I'll be right with you, Sydney. Be patient. More tassels. Paper ones. Paper. Ooh, here's a pink heart puffy one. I gotta remember to keep you guys in the shot. I can't really see the camera very well. Some happy birthday ones. More paper. More paper. Paper balloons. Those are real cute. Uh, little paper ones. And the very last 
some paper, and another tassel. All right, so let me pause you, let my dog out, and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So, first thing we're going to do, so I'm going to set this down, is find all the tassel ones. And these we get at the Dollar Tree. And let's see if they'll fit in the baggie so I can keep them all contained. No, they, well, they kind of want to. There we go. So, the lamb sideways. Can you guys see that? Yeah. The lamb sideways, they will fit. And the whole reason why I'm doing this is because in my box, they are just getting all kinds of tossed around, beat up, all that business. Okay, so we got one baggie done. Another baggie. Another tassel. Okay, that does it for all the tassels. Now, let's do all our little hearts, okay? We're going to put all our hearts into one baggie. Oh, found another tassel. Set that aside for the moment. And I guess that could be considered a tassel. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think this is the last one I have of these. So, do I have all the little hearts? Yes, I do. So, let's close. Oh, get all the air out. So, we got more room for storage. Now, the two tassels that I found, which this one, I might have to take out the packaging. Or, can I fold down the little clip? Oh yeah, I can do that. All right. There's that one. Now, I don't have too many animal ones, and I don't count unicorns as, like, animals. I count, you know, like, real animals. <laughs> Not that unicorns cannot be real. I suppose they could. <laughs> so, let's just place these guys in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this aside because I have a different place to put those. All right, the little, the tiny little puppies, this stuff is already contained in a baggie. But look what I found. I found an owl one, so let's put that in with our other animals. All right, now we've got our puffy ones. So, I'm going to put these guys, and they each have a unicorn attached to them. So, I'm going to put them in their own baggie, which I'm not sure I have another bit. There's one more big baggie. If we have room for all three. Yep, looks like we do just enough. It wouldn't hold four, but I don't have four, so that's okay. Popped it right open, didn't I? There we go. All right, now for our unicorns. I don't know if I got another big baggie or not. Does not look like it. All I have is the little sandwich size, or the little snack size. And I don't think that these will fit. Nope, they're not going to fit. So, give me one second. I've got some in my drawer here. Oh, I believe I do anyway. I hope I do. 
I use a lot of those snack bags for my craft storage because they are just they're yeah they're great for little ones but not for me to pack a snack <laughs> all right now I don't want to squish those too much so I'm only gonna put two per bag per baggie there's that one and I'm just going to throw this little emoji guy in with the last unicorn. And there's that. Now, we already discussed the paint, paint can. I'm going to leave these all intact because they are a set. So, there we go. Now, if you hear my cat crying, it's because she wants back out. But she just came in, so we're not going to play that game right now. She likes to play the game of, I just came in, but I want to go back out. So we're going to sort these by envelopes with tags, things like that. Um, don't really know if I need these, so I'm going to set them aside. Here are little teeny weeny baby envelopes right there, so I'll put them there. Here are some kind of flowery type tags. These are just plain white tags. I don't need that price code. These guys are going to stay in their baggie. They're all my balloon themed tags. So they'll stay in their own. Oh, let's see. Oh, here's some more plain white. Don't know why I have those. Oh, that was that set. Okay, some bigger plain ones. No, you don't, cat. Not doing it. You go eat your food that you just had to have. <laughs> Here I have some more flowery type ones, and I'll put them with the pink flowered ones. Uh, let's see. Here are some kind of like this. And I think I'll keep these in their own. Well, these would be kind of... I'll put them with the flowers for right now. These are all birthday tags. So they're going to stay in this bag unless until I run across some more. These are color yourself tags. Um, I have a variety of these, but they're color yourself. So they're all their own category. So they're going to stay there. These ribbons go with these tags here. So let's see. Let's put them. Oh, well, I can't decide. I can't decide. I'll put that aside. The little purse ones. Choo, 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 choo. Yeah, my cat is not happy with me at the moment, but like I said, she just came in. She wants to annoy me, I guess. Now, these are all miscellaneous tags with like little bugs. Well, that's like a, what kind of bug is it? A honeybee or something? And then word tags. But these are like birthday, so let's put those... Yeah, these are, the colored ones are like a birthday type tag. Yeah. These are, let's see. Yeah, these are like words and things like that. So, these are going to go in their own category. These are really cool. These are kind of like what, um, oh, Jeannie Louise sent these to me, and they're really kind of neat. I love them. So they're going to stay in their own bag by themselves. I know, I'm not doing much organizing here, am I? <laughs> Mason jar tags. Oh, get the side. Oh, let's put the word ones in a baggie right now, because they're just going to get 
flopped all around. So let's put those right like that. These are, if I can get them open, these are miniature, um, the craft paper kind, already embellished. So they'll go with craft paper ones. In fact, let's put them in a baggie. So they're all ready. The popsicle ones. Oh, come out of string. I need you. But I want to keep the packaging for when I send out friend mail. Oh, it's got tape attaching it to the cardboard. That was inconvenient. Okay, let's put that aside. Okay. So these are fun ones. Yeah. So let's put them in a baggie with their string. I'm going to consider these the same category. They're just fun tags to send out to your brands. I don't like how they put the string on this though. I don't like that. So we'll put these in there. These are the fun ones. Oh, the birthday ones. Get them all back in there. Um, my teacup ones. These are the only ones I have like this. So they are staying in there. I love these teacup ones. And I very seldom use them because I don't know why I didn't get a second package. But yeah, they're just so cute. So yeah, I kind of hoard these. <laughs> We all do it. You got to admit it. We all hoard our favorite thing. Now, these are flowered ones. So, I'm going to put that in the flower category. In fact, let's get the flower ones their own baggie now because we've got enough here to do that. I'm going to take these out of this bag. All right, now these are little envelopes. I got these from holler.com and they are so neat. I love them. They're like a vellum type paper and they've got the little note card on the inside and they are so pretty. I love them. So let's put them in a baggie. Where's the rest of those? Oh, right here they are. Here's the rest of them. And I haven't found the right project to use these on, but I will. Don't you worry. Oh, I hope these fit. I know I'm, I'm torturing you guys by making you sit while I watch do this, aren't I? Okay, got that. These are more like little envelope ones with a flower shaped thing inside of it. So that goes, I don't know why that was in there. These are more little like envelope, just plain little envelopes. So we will put that in with these. These we're keeping their own category because they are color yourself. So I'm going to put those in there. Which I guess you could consider these color yourself. Because they're the black and white. So we'll put those in there too. Now see that cat finally went and calmed herself down somewhere. 
yeah. Oh, my little baby envelopes. Let's put them in with the envelopes. Do, 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 do. These are tags, plain tags. Oh, here's some more of those little envelopes. I have really got to start incorporating this stuff in my crafting because I've had these things for quite a while. I got them on clearance for 75 cents. Was that at Hobby Lobby or? Might have been at Hobby Lobby. Oh, some more fun tags. So let's get these out of here. Don't like how they stuck the scotch tape on here. Ugh, it's annoying. Fun ones. What do they do with the fun? Oh, here's the fun ones. Okay, got that. And then we've got our craft paper envelope here. So, I'm going to put these littler ones in here with these because they're smaller. And I think that's, we're not going to put the big ones in here. We'll make a separate bag for the big ones. Let's see. Here we go. Here's a baggie. And we'll put the the bigger ones in here in its own baggie. I just don't think there would be room for all of them. Plus the little ones might get shuffled around and hidden by the big ones. Okay, so we got this baggie here we've got to go through. Some of these are envelopes, some of these are not. Okay, these are envelopes. What's this? These are cards that go into the envelopes. So I'm going to put these over here. Envelopes, envelopes. Okay, so these can go in the envelope baggie. Okay, we've got this one. Hmm, I think these could go in the fun one. They are chalk. Uh, you can use a chalk pen on these and they're little apples. So they can go into the fun baggie. Now these guys, I think I'm going to go ahead. They're metal. And these are burlap. Well, the burlap ones I'm definitely going to put in with the, um, oh, the brown paper ones. I think I'll go ahead and put the metal ones in there, too, just because there's only three of them. Okay, let's see. This is good, that's good, that's good. Oh, got to put all our hanging charms. So, we're going to put them in their own little baggie. Now see what I have done is I went out and I bought these things and then instead of you know like putting them in a baggie, storing them up properly, I've just opened the top of my storage bin and just tossed them in there. Yeah. So there's that. That is all done. Okay, I think flowers are all done. And birthday is all done. The big, um, what is that brown paper called? Gosh, I can't remember. Anyway, you guys let me know down below. There's a word for it. Those are done. Oh, and these are done. And these are done. And I think my envelopes are all done. Boy, that cat, she just won't stop. The little word ones, they're all done. My fun ones, you know, like the unicorn, the llama, the apples, you know, things like that. They're all done. 
And then we've got all these little tags that don't really fall in a category. Like the little purses, the little plain tags. And then we've also got these little inserts for our envelopes. So what I think I'll do is I will make them into their own category. Their own little baggie. If that is... That may not be big enough for... Yeah. And I will also put this ribbon in there. And there we go. And look, we are all done. Yes, we are. So we've got our paint that stays. Everything is in its own baggie, its own category. If I want a fun tag, I can just reach in here, find the fun baggie. If I need an envelope with cards or just an envelope, one of those little mini craft envelopes, I can just find that baggie. If I want a flowered tag, I can just pull this out, pick out the appropriate flower. If I want a beaded hangy thing, yeah. <laughs> I can just reach in here and grab that one. So, it is done. It's completed and whew, I do not need any more tags. I have plenty in my box right here. My box. I've got plenty. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on organizing my tag and hanging charms. Um, embellishments I guess you could call it um yeah and I kind of like doing this with you guys I do at least you know I try to do at least one or two boxes a week and eventually I will have my craft room back in order yes so I guess I will talk to you guys later let me know about what you think about this new series I guess you'd call it organizing the craft room or whatever <laughs> Because last week we did the table, uh, we did the ribbon board, uh, I just put up the video for, um, which box was it? For my paper clips and clothes pins, I just did that video. So we're doing this video right here. Now I did do my die cuts, and that was terrible. I did not wish that upon any of you, so I did not film that one. <laughs> It wasn't terrible, but it was very time-consuming, very intense on deciding which die cut would go with which die cut. You know what I'm saying? Because they're very oh, specific and um, things like that. So, I did not film the die cut box, but maybe I will show it to you in another video. So I'm going to get off of here now, guys, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. You know I love to hear from each and every one of you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.